Hello everyone, what's going on? I'm Gaffermas974 back again today and welcome to another source short video. And what I'm going to be covering today is how to play main menu music and also pause menu music. Now, pause menu music was recommended to me by a viewer in private DMs and I'm, I'm not going to be showing that in the video. You just have to take my word for it that it was recommended through private messages and if you're watching this video, you know who you are. Thanks for the suggestion. Uh, but for main menu music, I'm in a Portal 1 map. It is a beta map, hence why the ceiling's got a no draw texture. Uh, but the way that Portal 1 did it was just to have an ambient generic entity, give it a name such as music ambient background, give it a sound to play such as the music from Portal 1. Um, it should be playing, I don't know if it is or not. Um, but then you also want a logic auto which makes it so it plays a sound when the map spawns and then give it the properties of, well, nothing really. But you can set it to play everywhere if you want to. That way there's no issues with it being too far in the left channel or right channel or whatever. But now because the music's playing, I do need to sort of play a different sound like, which is, you know, the hum sound. It doesn't sound like it, but because it's looped, it just sort of uh, is the buzz sound for the test chamber sign over here. So that's one way you can do it. However, this relies on a background map to be in your mod. So if you don't want to have that, but you still want to have main menu music, then there is an alternative method that you can use. So I'm just going to close out of Hammer++. And the second method is to Get a file called valve.rc, which should exist in the Half-Life 2 CFG folder. Now, it doesn't look like it here, but um, you can open up hl 2 miskdirvpk which is, you know, you need something like GCF scape to open it. But if you go into the CFG folder, you can see a file called valve.rc, and you just want to extract that to whichever directory, well, wherever the directory for your mod is. So in this case, I've already done it. And over here on the right, we've got CFG and valve.rc or whatever the file is. So what we're going to do is open it with Notepad if we can, because it is just a simple text file. Let's just uh, blow this up and blow the text up as well. And basically, it does some commands like exec CFG files. And at the very end, you want to do play, then dot dot forward slash. And this is already uh, in respect to the sound folder. So in this case, I've made it so it goes to the music folder and then plays hl2 ambient one dot rave. So essentially, you can just replace this path with whatever the path is to the sound you want to play. So this would play when the game boots up and you don't even need a map to play a sound basically is what's going on there. So those are two ways to have main menu music, but for pause menu music, it is a bit more complicated. So I've got my source code open here and I've went into the server project went into source files and found base player underscore shared dot cpp. It is shared across the server and the client. And one thing I didn't really realize is you can actually switch between the client and the server using this little drop down up here. So it helps to visualize stuff that is only on the server and clients. But hey everyone, I'm just making a little addendum here because as I was editing and just about to upload the video to YouTube, I actually discovered there was an issue with the pause menu music functionality that I'll probably outline. Um, I don't know how I'm going to work this. I'm just going to stick this in the middle of the video somewhere. But I outline that you should add something like this to item preframe. But I figured out that if you do that, then if you enter a vehicle like the Jeep in the map SDK vehicles, then the pause music doesn't play when you're in the vehicle. So what I figured out was you can actually just stick it inside of item post frame and stick it underneath this vprof line. 
and then the pause menu functionality should work even if you are inside of a vehicle. I noticed there was some sort of weird functionality where the Jeep music or Jeep, Jeep audio sounds, I should say, ends up playing when the game's paused and it can kind of sound a little strange. I'm not sure how you would go about resolving that, but at least in terms of this pause music, pause menu, sound, whatever you want to call it, functionality, instead of putting it in item preframe, like I'll probably show in the video, just stick it inside the item post frame instead, but do exactly as I'm going to outline. Have a hashtag if end def of client underscore DLL. Then you need to do engine sound arrow pre cache sound of whatever the sound is that you want to play. So in this case, I'm using music forward slash HL2 underscore song 30.mp3. And you want it to be preloaded. And I've said true. So yes. So this is just for preloading the sound device. You're going to get issues when you try to play the sound. And again, this is in context of the sound folder. So you don't need to put sound forward slash. Um, so yeah, you can just do music and whatever sound you want. I've also going to do the same sort of thing for a looped sound, such as the emulator plasma shoot.wave. That also works. But this is a sound that doesn't loop. Then I've decided to create a static ball called play music, which equals false. It only gets initialized once with a value of false. And then what we're going to say is if the server is paused, so if engine arrow is paused, then if exclamation mark play music, then do engine arrow clients command of edict and then a command such as play music forward slash hl2 underscore song 30.mp3. So this essentially, as it says in this comment here, uh, it issues a specified command to the specified client and it mimics that client typing the command at the console. So for example, it, this is a command that you could type into your developer console and it plays some music. And in this case, even though we are on the server, we are doing a client command specific to, I guess, the edicts of the player who has paused the game and then play music equals true so we don't end up constantly spamming this command to play music and then else if the engine is not paused then if play music is true then do engine arrow client command of edict and then stop sound which will stop all sounds that are currently being played and then play music equals false so it only ends up stopping this uh, sound one time now i've done some experimentation down here which is code that would execute on the client but for my experimentation i couldn't figure out a way to get the music to play from the client side when the game's paused uh, for some reason this doesn't seem to be true when the game's paused and this introduces issues for source 2013 multiplayer mods because you do want to be checking if you know you want to check to see if the player is paused but I can't seem to figure out a good way to see if that happens. And also some of the experimentation I've done, the sound doesn't play until the game is unpaused. So that is also something that you need to be keeping in mind. So what I've done up here, it does work. So that is why I'm covering this method. So if I just build the solution, it should just compile perfectly fine. And then I can show you the Valve.RC change and also this uh, music that plays when the game's paused. So let's just, uh, yeah, that's, that's good. It's all compiled successfully. So let me just uh, make sure the game loads up properly. So yeah, I've not really done testing on this um, version of this project that I'm loading up. So I will just have to blow up the the game okay it looks like it's coming through okay so let's just uh load up a stock map like sdk vehicles then you should have heard some music there and then if i pause the game here then you should hear some pause music and then when i unpause the music should stop so and you can also see the developer notes at the top it says it's uh it stopped sounds of uh you know whatever sounds are playing. So if we go into a vehicle, for example, and then pause, 
and then unpause. Again, I can't really hear the audio, so hopefully everything's working as it's supposed to. Uh, but let's um, mess around with the, you know, the emulator sound as well, just so you have an idea of that working as well. And then we want to make sure we don't play that one. And as you can see from the experimentation I've done as well, you can use the sort of server engine interface to do emit ambient sound, which does the same thing. However, I was thinking more about general sort of source 2013 multiplayer as well, but I can't figure out a way to get this to work for source 2013 multiplayer. Because uh, then, you know, the server's not paused when you pause the game in source 2013 multiplayer. I thought I'd mention that point as well. So what we can also do is that. Uh, we actually don't need to, to do that necessarily because it's just going to stop sound of the sound that's being played. And now would be a bad time to realize that I don't actually have the sound in question in that directory. So I'm just going to double check just to make sure it's there. It's not there. Uh, I need to find that. So if I just go to... I don't know, I think I've put it in here somewhere. So let me just uh, dig that out real quick. You know, just copy the whole weapons folder over. There we go. Then go back here. Should have compiled properly. Then I need to get rid of the display capture. So then it loads the game up properly. So then, you know, hopefully it all works as it's supposed to. Let's do SDK vehicles again. Again, you might have heard the main menu music. Yeah, and I, even I can hear that. That's the uh, the emulator sound. But you can leave this paused, and then you can just basically tell that it's a looped sound. So even looped sounds work as pause menu music if that's something that you want to do. So that is pretty much how to do main menu music, whether you have a map or not, and pause menu music. Um, however, it, I don't think this would necessarily work for Source 2013 multiplayer mods. I haven't figured out a way to get it to work. Uh, hopefully, maybe someone watching this video has an idea of how to make that happen. Uh, otherwise, you need to make some engine changes and that's just not possible. But yeah, let me know what you think about this video in the comment section down below. Hopefully you found it helpful. And as always, have a great day. Peace out. See you later.